Instagram. Welcome to my anime channel, Giz Anime, where we do figure unboxings as well as other collectibles. Today's unboxing will be of this 25th anniversary Dark Sylveon promo box from Pokemon. First off, a little bit of backstory of, for me. I'm not really big into Pokemon at all. I've seen a bit of the anime. Never, ever played the card game. Uh, so this is actually a first for me. I know that the 25th anniversary promo box is going for a really steep premium right now. So I have gone ahead as well and ordered the Charizard Ultra Premium Collector Edition boxes as well. I will be unboxing one of those on the channel and then the other ones I will be putting in the closet and hoping that they grow in value over time. So if you're into Pokemon and enjoy watching unboxings, Look forward to that because we will definitely be doing that on the channel. So we have this one box. I also have this Infernape V box as well. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to open this one or if I'm just going to stick this in the closet and hope it grows in value over time. Uh, I could definitely unbox it and just have this little promo card here sent off and have it graded. Because I've come to learn that having the cards graded greatly, greatly increases the value of them. But with that said, let's crack open this box. I have another one of them. So I'm hoping the box I open up is the box with the premium stuff inside of it. Nope. But with that said, let's get into this unboxing, see what we get, and I'll see you there. All right, so first off, we have this Dark Sylveon card. Uh, this is the promo card for the set, so we will definitely be sleeving this thing up. But it definitely looks really nice. Again, definitely getting that in the sleeve. And notice that it has the 25th anniversary Pikachu logo on it as well, so that we know that it's from the 25th anniversary set. All right, then we have the promo card that it comes with as well. All right, everybody, I changed around the camera a little bit. This is uh, going to be a bit of a work in progress, especially for like unboxing any of the cards or anything, because I have no clue how to set up a double camera. I'm going to also have to pay for some other stuff as well. And again, get a new mic or a new mic cord. So some of this is still in the works. Uh, so if anything seems a bit off or the positioning of the cards or anything of that nature it's just because i'm trying to figure everything out really. i don't know what i'm doing but again back on to the unboxing and then we have this giant promo card of dark sylveon as well i'm not sure if these things go for anything i have um, no idea just more or less like collector's items which is maybe what the channel is about anyways uh or if uh pokemon has kind of like magic the gathering has and they have like your commander type format and it would be one of the commanders, which I think would be kind of neat. But unfortunately, I don't think that's the case. I think these are just kind of something new that they've been doing. So let's get on to the packs now and see if we get anything wild or not. All right, so this box is supposed to come with four packs, I believe, of the 25th anniversary set and two other packs. All right, so we have an Evolving Skies pack as well. And this set, from what I understand, is definitely on the rise. Uh, some of the cards in this can be really good. So we will definitely be saving this one for last, I do believe. All right, and then we have a Fusion Strike pack as well. I haven't really heard anything about this set. So if there's any money cards in here or anything worthwhile, uh, I really won't know until I look it up after I've recorded the video. Uh, matter of fact, I guess we'll just open the Fusion Strike set first, then we'll do the four 25th anniversary packs and after that we will do the evolving skies one last all right let's see if we can get anything worthwhile out of this all right again i don't really know a whole lot so we're just going to kind of skim through things so we got meow with mariel a few moments later all right so i did a little more readjusting so the camera is still going to be off a little bit um really trying to figure this out with without having to mess with too much stuff for now. 
So, again, if anything seems off, I apologize. This will be fixed in the future. Just kind of roughing it right now. Uh, we have a card called Helioptal. A Wulo. Wulo. Cause Fleur. And... Hayu... Kamuku? I don't know. I am so lost. Just looks like the rare that we would have gotten this set though. So, again, let me know if this is anything or not. No. Because I do not know. It looks nice and shiny. Is this what they would call a reverse holo though? Because the text is hollow and not him. Alrighty then. So let's get on to these 25th anniversary packs though. Apparently there's only four cards per pack. So this isn't going to take long at all. And I've also been told that the cards, uh, these little promo cards here, that if the border is black, that means that there's a good card. I doubt that. If they're not, if they're white, if they're not. So I don't know if that's actually a thing or not, or if that's just a rumor. So we've got a girl named Cosmog, or a Pokemon called Cosmog with a little girl on it. Lugia, Yiptol, Mew, and then the promo card. So yeah, there are four cards here and I have no idea uh, if they're worth anything or worth keeping. Uh, I know a little bit about Mew, but aside from him. So I will definitely have to look up all these cards and if there's anything that's worth anything, I'll put a price somewhere in the video as well. So yeah, I'm again not sure if the black outline border means anything because Everything in the 25th anniversary packs could be considered hits, I, I suppose. Zekrom. Cosmoan. Xerneas. And Lunola. Yeah, I'm just... Right, pack number three. I feel like everything I've gotten so far is just kind of your basic card. As far as the set's considered, anyway. So we get another one of these Yevatols, another Cosmog, uh, literally the same impact, same impact twice in a row. My disappointment is immeasurable. <sighs> this is disappointing, uh, yeah. For one of my first uh, Pokemon unboxing experiences, I've got to say this is bullshit. Hopefully the fourth pack isn't like the others or will cry. Not on camera though. What? What the fuck? Look at this. It's the second Zekron. Grudon. Xerneas. I don't even know. Soul. Galea. Man, the names of these Pokemon is ludicrous. Like, I might as well be speaking Latin as far as I'm concerned. I cannot with these names. All right, though, let's get on to this last pack of Evolving Skies and see if anything worthwhile out of it. I'm not holding my breath, though, that's for sure. That's a good idea, honey. Although, for 20 bucks at Walmart, I guess it's not the worst. We got a little dude named Nikit, Bergmite, Ragnarola, Flabe, Swab Blue, and Hippo Dawn. I get the feeling that this is just a box of duds. Uh, none of these cards, names, or looks strike me as being good because. I know you can get like V, V star, things of that nature, uh, all arts, etc. And literally none of these are any of that. So I'm beyond sure that none of these are worth anything. Like, how do I get a pack and then open another one and get literally the same cards out of the same pack? Like, well, yeah, that's the video, though. Let me know what y'all thought. Uh, I, I'm disappointed. And I'll see y'all next time.